My name is Chad Sof. My key question that I wanted to analyze was, does increase in speed make an increase in injury traffic accidents? So my data was collected by using the traffic accident DI-9 form that all officers fill out at an accident scene. The data was then compiled by the Cotwood Heights Rec Records Division, and then it was analyzed by me and cut down and cleaned. Um, my findings, uh, when looking at the accidents, I did a bivariate analysis comparing speed and injury level. The injury levels um, in, the, in the bivariate analysis showed that for every one mile per hour in speed, the increase percentage chance of having an injury is 6%, according to all accidents in Cottonwood Heights City for the year 2013. So taking also a multivariate test, I looked at other factors such as lighting, location of the accident, um, jurisdiction, different other factors that are involved in traffic accidents such as weather and things like that. None of the other uh, uh, variants had a, um, a standing or a um, positive correlation with traffic accidents. They all showed that they were below a point of, oh, uh, above a 0.05 percent. So um, the limitations to my study were that I didn't have in my data seatbelt usage. So it's quite possible that some of the injuries came because seatbelts weren't being worn and uh, the speed was relevant up to a certain point. But then they still got the, the same amount of injury. Um, I needed to have a little bit more data and some other information. It would also have been nice to uh, look at 2011, 2012, and 2013, but I didn't have all three years. So that's where my limitations came into. Um, conclusions, uh, it's obvious that speed increase causes more injuries and accidents, and the 6% higher increase for every one mile, per hour, one mile per hour in speed is what the conclusion came to in my analysis. Thank you.